Welcome back to What to Read Wednesday. Grab your lunch and listen to North Carroll staff serve you up some great selections for readers and listeners of all tastes. We'll supply the main dish. You just bring an appetite for reading. Hi, I'm Linda from the North Carroll branch, and the book I want to share with you today is the latest by one of my favorite authors, Ann Tyler. Ann Tyler has written 23 novels over the years, and I think I've read all of them. Some of my favorites have been Dinner at the Homesick Restaurant, St. Maybe, A Patchwork Planet, The Beginner's Goodbye, Vinegar Girl, and Clock Dance. I always feel at home reading an Ann Tyler book. Her families are so familiar. I recognize the family members, and we've all experienced the kind of family interactions she describes. She excels at portraying ordinary people leading unremarkable lives, all the while making you root for them and hope that things will turn out for the best. I also love that her novels take place around Baltimore, and so I recognize the neighborhoods where her characters live and work. All of these elements come together again in her latest novel, Redhead by the Side of the Road, published in 2020. We are introduced to Micah Mortimer, an ordinary man leading an unremarkable life in Baltimore. Micah is in his 40s and a self-employed tech expert. He calls himself the Tech Hermit, and makes house calls helping people solve their various computer-related problems. He supplements his income by working as the superintendent of his apartment building. Micah's days are ordered and routine. Each day starts with a run at 7.15 a.m., followed by breakfast, shower, and the household tour of the day. Floor mopping on Monday, dusting and laundry on Wednesday, kitchen cleaning on Thursday, vacuuming on Fridays. Tyler describes Micah this way as the book begins. You have to wonder what goes through the mind of a man like Micah Mortimer. He lives alone. He keeps to himself. His routine is etched in stone. At 7.15 every morning, you see him set out on his run. Along about 10 or 10.30, he slaps the magnetic tech hermit sign onto the roof of his Kia. The times he leaves on his calls will vary, but not a day seems to go by without several clients requiring his services. Afternoons, he can be spotted working around the apartment building. He moonlights as the super. He'll be sweeping the walk or shaking out the mat or conferring with a plumber. Monday nights before trash day, he saw, hauls out the garbage bins to the alley. Wednesday nights, the recycling bins. At 10 p.m. or so, the three squinty windows behind the foundation plantings go dark. His apartment is in the basement. It probably is not very cheery. Does he ever stop to consider his life, the meaning of it, the point? Does it trouble him to think that he will probably spend his next 30 or 40 years this way? Nobody knows, and it's almost certain nobody's ever asked him. Micah is dating Cass, a school teacher, and their relationship also falls into a comfortable routine. But one day, all of Micah's routines are blown apart when Cass tells him that she's facing eviction and a teenager shows up on his porch claiming that Micah is his father. Micah's carefully ordered life begins to fall apart as he's forced to deal with the messy emotional realities of life. Um, the fact that he often misses social cues makes this even more difficult. To quote from the book, Sometimes when he was dealing with people, he felt like he was operating one of those claw machines on a boardwalk. Those shovel things where you try to scoop up a prize, but the controls are too unwieldy, and you worked it too great a remove. Forced to take a closer look at his life, Micah begins to reassess some things and that he has taken for granted, and realizes that he's not always seen things clearly. He wonders if his relationships haven't worked out in the past because he hasn't found the right person, or if it's because he hasn't been the right person. Um, he realizes that trying to make no mistakes at all in a relationship isn't always the best goal. I think you'll enjoy this novel and find yourself rooting for Micah as he works to figure out the changes that he needs to make in his life. To quote a review of the book from Book Page, Reading Ann Tyler is always pure pleasure, and Redhead by the Side of the Road is the author at her best. This joyful book is a powerful reminder of how much we need human connection. People Magazine says, if there was ever a perfect time for a new Ann Tyler novel, it's now. And this one doesn't disappoint. Heartwarming and very funny. One of Tyler's best yet. Redhead by the Side of the Road is available from the library in book and audio format. It is also available in digital format through Overdrive and Libby. Thanks for joining us for What to Read Wednesday. Come back again next week for more reading recommendations.